I'm Ken Jenkins, and today we're going to talk about shared services. So, what are shared services? Shared services is exactly what it sounds like. It's a situation in which two parties both share some resource or service, and they gain a benefit simply from the act of sharing. So think about this. Two small children from two different families sharing a box of crayons. It's true. One box of crayons purchased allows both children to color as much as they want. Think about all of the positive things that can happen as a result. But how does this relate to government? Shared services on a government level is where we can provide the services our constituencies are looking for, but at the greatest savings. For example, there may be a piece of expensive equipment that one municipality has where we have an opportunity to share its use with other municipalities. There's examples of shared services like Nassau County, which plans to partner with one of its largest cities, combining and consolidating their sewer districts, saving $128 million. The village of Mount Kisco has the good fortune to have a partnership with the Westchester County Police. The Westchester County Police are the police force for the village of Mount Kisco. And in the end result, uh, the village of Mount Kisco gets a very standardized coverage of police force, more regulated, and I think we provide a very professional police department to patrol the village of Mount Kisco. So now you can see all the ways that we can benefit from sharing services. Saving money, providing services at all level of government, and ensuring that the quality of life in Westchester remains. We're asking you, the public, to let us know what shared services you'd like to see. What opportunities do you think there are for shared services? Ways in which the county, our villages, our towns, our school district can leverage services in order to find savings for everyone who lives in Westchester.